Special thanks to Patreon supporter Ferdinand Wernicher for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare2 Wolf here bringing you another Minecraft Cold Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the BTR-60. The BTR-60 is the first vehicle in a series of Soviet 8-wheeled armored personnel carriers known as APCs. It was developed in the late 1950s as a replacement for the BTR-152 and was seen in public for the first time in 1961. BTR stands for Brone Transporter and translates to Armored Transporter in English. Uh, the vehicle itself is a wheeled amphibious armor personnel carrier and its place of origin was the Soviet Union. Um, it is still currently in service with some second and third world countries, however, no first world countries really use this vehicle anymore. Um, the vehicle itself uh, was designed in 1955 and was produced from 1960 to 1976 in the Soviet Union. Number built include an estimated 25,000 for the Soviet Union and an estimated 1,000 872 for Romania. Uh, the vehicle itself has a crew of three and can carry up to 14 passengers. Its main armament includes a 14.5mm KPVT heavy machine gun in a turret and is also equipped with a secondary 7.62mm uh, PKT uh, tank coaxial machine gun. Um, the vehicle itself is also fully amphibious, so uh, like the BTR-80 and BTR-90, it can float and travel through water. Um, so it's also a very cool feature of the BTR series of tanks, or uh, I should say uh, APCs. Anyways, that's uh, kind of a brief description about the BTR-60 and everything like that. Before we go ahead and take a look at the vehicle itself, I want to give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Ferdinand Weinacher for... Uh, make this vehicle possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to head over to my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you guys can go ahead and feel free to donate a small amount just to help support my channel and um, everything like that. And of course, you can earn some cool reward tiers like Fernand here who earns a vehicle of his request uh, every month for his donation. So feel free to check it out if you guys are interested. Other than that, let's go ahead and take a look at the build that we're going to be building uh, before we get into the tutorial. So uh, to start off with, obviously we have uh, the front up here. This is where we have the viewports here for obviously the driver and um, you know passenger. We have the front, um, you know, obviously just, just right here, kind of angled um, slopes. Very challenging to kind of get this front to look right. Um, however, I think that's probably the best I'll be able to get it really. Uh, we got the front headlights, a little spotlight on the top here. Um, the hatches located up on top. We have the turret located here, which houses the 14.5 millimeter heavy machine gun and also a coaxial machine gun right next to it. Uh, continuing on the, on the side here, you can just see a lot of detail with uh, little rungs and stuff like that. And you also have this um, you know, hatch here for you know getting in and out. There's another hatch on the back here. Um, and then going toward the back here, we have the exhaust. Uh, this section back here would actually open up and expose the uh, propulsion for, in, uh, for basically if it's in the water. So kind of that's pretty cool back there. Brake lights, the exhaust. Um, just some more kind of side detailing. The sides are different from each other, so that's also a cool little feature. And all the top detail vents and all that fun stuff and everything like that, really. So that's pretty much the uh, BTR-60 in a nutshell. Uh, pretty simple build overall, but a really cool one nonetheless. Anyways, let's go and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, Layer 1. Alrighty guys, moving on to our first layer, we're going to start off with Layer 1. Now for Layer 1, we're going to be going ahead and basically setting up our wheelbase for the vehicle. So to do this, we need to go ahead and place down two upside down narrow brick stairs that are going to be back to back uh, from each other, just like that. Now, uh, when you have these, this uh, basically set up, this is going to be the left front wheel. So we are going to have a little bit more of the uh, vehicle going to the right side here and everything like that. So take that into account when we start um, building this section up that there will be you know, more uh, space here that will be needed. So make sure you guys have plenty of space basically allocated for this vehicle to fit. Anyways, once we have uh, that completed, we're gonna go ahead and place down a wooden trap door, come off this narrow brick stair. We're gonna go ahead and build the left side back with the uh, with our narrow brick stairs, just going back and another narrow brick stair on the back of it. So you have the basically half here of the first two wheels. After that's complete, we're gonna go ahead and skip a space of one and place down a wooden trap door like this again at the same level we place down this wooden trap door we're then going to place down another nerve break upside down stair followed by a stair right behind it one trap door come off the front of that stair an upside down nerve break stair and another one right behind it like so after you have that done we're going to place down a iron trap door so we have our back wheels here so the front wheels are located up here this is going to be the front it's going to be facing that direction and the rear wheels are located back there and to be facing the back's gonna be facing that direction. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take some iron trap doors. We're gonna place down one 
and two come off those two narrow brick stairs and then one and two come off those narrow brick stairs so you get something that kind of looks like this from up above after we have that done we're, we can go and grab ourselves a placeholder block we're going to go and place down a block uh, basically basically skip a space of one and we're going to place down an iron trap door again kind of on the opposite side from this one right here and it's going to be the same thing on both sides here just like this iron trap doors both sides so you get something that kind of looks like that once we have that done, we're going to go and basically copy the same thing we did over on the previous side, just over here to this side, so narrow brick stairs, one trap door, more narrow brick ups and down stairs, and just kind of continue the same thing we did on the other side over to here. So if you're going a little fast for you here, you can just go ahead and kind of, you know, look at the other side, and what we did on the other side is what we're doing over here on this side. So just like this, all the way to the front. So you get something that looks just like that for the base of the vehicle. Once we have that complete, that's going to do it for layer one. With that, let's move on to layer two. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 2. For layer 2, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a cobblestone wall on top of these two iron trap doors up here in the front of the vehicle. In between the cobblestone walls, we're going to place down a green hardened stinkway block, followed by one more that comes off of it facing toward the front. After that's complete, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides of this green stinkway block, followed by a row of three of upside down stairs going across the front here like this, so we have a corner stair on both sides and a regular upside down stair in the middle. After that's complete, we want to go ahead and then take our green stain clay. We're going to place down a row of three across, like so, followed by a dark oak fence gate opened up on both sides, like this. And we actually want to have them opened up so that they're facing toward the outside, so just like that on both sides. After that's complete, we also want to take some narrow brick stairs. We're just going to place down two stairs back to back on top of these narrow brick ups and down stairs here in the front to go ahead and complete those wheels. After that's done, we're going to place down a narrow row of three green stain clay after this one right here, followed by a uh, third row, just like that after it. And again, on top of these narrow brick stairs on both sides, we're going to place down two narrow brick stairs back to back like that to complete the wheels. Continuing on, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of green stained clay going across, followed by a nether row after that, with a dark oak wood fence gate again on both sides on top of these wooden trap doors. Again, make sure it's opened up toward the outside of the vehicle like that on both sides. Continuing on, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of green stained clay, followed by another row after that, and again, narrow brick stairs on both sides like so. Continuing on, we're going to place down another uh, row of three of green stain clay across the middle, followed by a dark oak wood fence gate opened up uh, to both sides like that. Then we're going to go ahead and place down again two rows of green, uh, two rows of three here of green stain clay across, followed by two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of the uh, two upside down narrow brick stairs. So just like that, and we should get something that kind of looks like this so far for this layer. Continuing on, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves green stain clay. We're going to place down one and two full blocks going back from the center. We then want to place down a upside down dark oak wood stair coming off of either side of this first green snake wood block followed by a dark oak wood corner stair coming off that uh, stair uh, like that to kind of create a corner stair and create a shape like, like this on the back. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood top side. We're going to place it down on both sides coming off this um, narrow brick stair with a sign to go ahead and place down on the side here like that to kind of cover up the side there. So you should get something that looks like this on the back and something like that. And once you guys have that all complete, that's going to do it for layer two. With that, let's move on to layer three. All right, guys, move on to our next layer. We have layer three. For layer three, we're gonna go and start off by taking green stained clay. We're gonna place down a row of three on top of these upside down narrow brick stairs in the front. We then wanna place down another upside down narrow brick stair, come off the center green stained clay block, followed by a uh, dark oak wood corner stair on both sides of that dark oak wood upside down stair. After that's done, we're gonna go and place down a dark oak wood stair like this, upside down on both sides of this row of three of green stained clay. Followed by one more dark oak wood upside down stair. Going back from this so we have a corner stair and then a regular stair like that. Same thing over here, like so. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of green stain clay across just to kind of fill in the space in the middle there. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a row of five of green hardened stain clay all the way across. Followed by a item frame on the right side, which we can go ahead and also grab a shovel and place it down in the item frame to add like a little shovel mounted onto the side of the vehicle. And over on the left side, it's a little bit different. We're going to place down a zombie head like so. Uh, these uh, few layers that we're going to go ahead and basically be doing to continue up the vehicle are going to be different on both sides. So you will see some differences. Uh, we don't have any symmetry anymore. So just make sure that you guys are paying close attention to make sure you guys are doing each side right. Anyways, continuing on uh, over here on the right side, we're going to place down two spruce wood planks just like this. And we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button. Place down a stone button on the first spruce wood plank and a trip wire hook on the second. We then want to take green hardened stain clay, we're going to place down one, two, and three green stain clay blocks over, and then we're going to place down a quartz full block like that. Uh, after we have that all done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an end rod, place down an end rod coming off this zombie head like this, 
Coming from the second spruce wood plank, we're going to place down three more green snake bait blocks over, followed by one more like that, and then a zombie head like so, so you get something that looks like this from up above so far. Continuing on, we're going to place down a row of five of green stink clay all the way across, followed by a zombie head on both sides. Let me just double check on this side. Yep, zombie head on both sides. Uh, we're then going to place down another row of three green stink clay across, followed by a end rod on both sides coming off that zombie head. We're going to place down another row of three, or sorry, row of five of green stink clay across, followed by a zombie head on the right side. And over here on the left side, we have something a little bit different. We have this crate mounted on the side here. So for this, we're just going to place down an oak wood top side. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down an air row of five, a green stain clay across, followed by an oak wood top stab, come off this, this one right here on the left side. And um, over here on the right side, we're just going to leave it as it is. Uh, we then want to place down an air row of three, or row of five, a green stain clay, uh, an oak wood top stab on the left side. And over here on the right side, we're going to place down a zombie head. Coming off the zombie head, again, we're going to place down an end rod, and then an air row of five, a green stain clay across over toward the other side. <clears throat> Over here on the other side, we're going to place down an end rod coming off this oak wood uh, top slab like that. When we get to this section here, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a spruce wood plank. Place down a spruce wood plank on both sides. A row of uh, three here, green stain clay in between those spruce wood planks. Uh, after that, we're going to place down a zombie head. That's going to be coming off of this spruce wood plank on both sides. We then want to take our green stain clay, place down a row of five, all the way across like that. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this on top of these top slabs on both sides. And a row of three of green stained clay across in between those dark oak wood stairs. After that's done, we're going to place down a green stained clay block on top of the center block like this. And a stone button coming off the side there like that of it. And then we just want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair on both sides of it. To go ahead and kind of fish off and get something that looks like this on the back here. We also want to go ahead and put our mufflers on. So for this, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab on both sides coming off those stairs and a uh, wither skeleton skull coming off those top slabs just like that uh, to kind of get started on the exhaust there. Once we have that done, that's going to do it for layer three. With that, let's move on to layer four. All right, guys, moving on to layer four. For layer four, we're going to start off by placing down a green carpet on top of this, uh, these two upside down um, dark oak wood corner stairs. And then we're going to place down an oak wood pressure plate right there in the center. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two green carpet, starting on the right side here on top of the green stain clay blocks, and a wooden pressure plate off here to the left side. Uh, once we have that all done, we're going to go ahead and grab a dark oak wood fence post. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post on top of those two upside down dark oak wood corner stairs on the sides here, followed by a placeholder block, which we're going to place on the layer below it, with a dark oak wood fence gate coming off that dark oak wood fence post. And once we have that done, we can delete those uh, blocks we had under it to place down the fence gates. We're going to go ahead and open the fence gate so they uh, face toward the rear of the vehicle. So just like that on both sides. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take a sign and we're going to place down a sign that's going to be coming off of the um, dark oak wood fence gate like this on both sides. Like that for our side mirrors. Once that's complete, uh, we're going to go ahead and kind of work on the middle section here. Um, so what we're going to do for this is we're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood stair. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair in the middle here, followed by a um, wooden trap door. That's going to come off the uh, stair like this on both sides. And then we want to go and just place down an air uh, dark oak wood stair like that on both sides. And then one more stair that goes back from it. So we create a corner stair and same thing over here like that, a corner stair on both sides. After that's done, we're going to go and place down a green stain clay block behind this dark oak wood stair and a spruce wood plank on both sides like that. We also want to grab ourselves an item frame and we're going to place down an item frame on these two uh, dark oak wood corner stairs. And in the item frame, we're going to go and place down a glass block like that on both sides. After that's complete, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood stairs. We're gonna place down one and two spruce wood stairs along the side there. Uh, we also wanna go ahead and grab ourselves some green stain clay. We're gonna place down one, two, and three green stain clay blocks over to the left side. And on top of this quartz block right here, we're gonna place down a quartz stair. We then wanna go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, green stain clay again. We're gonna place down one, two, and three from this second spruce wood stair and then just a dark oak wood stair over here on the other side next to that quartz stair. Uh, we will want to go ahead and grab ourselves some skeleton or some uh, zombie heads. We're going to place down a zombie head on this dark oak wood stair on the left side, followed by a end rod coming off of it, and then also another zombie head coming off that stair, like that over there on the left side and the left side only. Uh, once we get to that, that done, we're going to go ahead and place down an arrow row of three green stained clay across, followed by a dark oak wood stair on both sides. Um, after that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, shulker box over here on the right side, followed by a row of three here green stain clay blocks across and then a dark oak wood stair again over here on the left side like that and also on the side here the shulker box we're going to place down a sign like so 
Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to go ahead and start off on the right side here again. We're going to place down a dark liquid stair, followed by two spruce wood planks after it. So one and two spruce wood planks, followed by a green stain clay block, and then a dark liquid stair like that. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some oak planks. We're going to place down an oak plank like this with signs wrapped around the sides of it like that. After that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down inner dark liquid stair on the right side here, followed by a Kamasi cobblestone wall right behind it. We're then going to place down two green stain clay blocks over to the left side, dark oak wood stair, and another oak wood plank with a sign on the side, like so. Continuing on, we're going to place down another uh, shulker box. This time it's going to be on the right side, of course, and a sign on the side of it. Uh, we then want to place down a green stain clay block next to it, followed by one and two spruce wood planks, and then a dark oak wood stair, like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a oak wood plank like that, followed by a sign on the sides of this oak wood plank on both sides like that. Um, after that's finished, we're going to go and place down an air shulker box over here on the right side, like this. Again, an air sign on the side of it like that. We're going to place down a green stain clay block, followed by two spruce wood planks over to the left side. And then we're going to place down an air shulker box with um, just, we're just going to leave it as is like that. Um, once we get that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a spruce wood stair. We're going to place down a spruce wood stair on top of the spruce wood plank on both sides, followed by a row of three green stain clay in between those spruce wood stairs. We then want to place down a dark oak wood corner stair, or my bad, actually a nether brick uh, corner stair coming off those two spruce wood stairs like this with a row of three of green stain clay in between those nether brick stairs. After that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab coming off the center green stain clay block, followed by a stone brick half slab on both sides. We're also going to go ahead and place down signs coming off the sides here of those two stone brick half slabs. And then lastly, um, or almost lastly, we're getting there. Uh, we want to go ahead and grab some wither skeleton skulls and we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at about a 45-ish degree angle on both sides like that on top of this dark liquid stair. Last thing for us to do is we just want to go ahead and grab an item frame and some red stained glass. We're going to go ahead and basically make our brake lights on the back here. So we're going to place down an item frame on the nether brick corner stair and we're just going to place down red stained glass in those item frames like that on both sides once we have that all finished that's going to do it for layer four with that let's go ahead and move on to layer five all right guys so continuing on we're actually going to move on to our last final layers which are basically going to be layers five through six we have a we don't have too much left to go so we're just going to go and do these last two layers um pretty much all together so let's go ahead and finish this build off so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and grab ourselves a uh, narrow brick stair we're going to place down a narrow brick stair on top of this uh wooden trap door over here on the right side now on the back here of the stair, we're going to place down an item frame with a glass block in it with a sign to go ahead and cover it up like that so you create something that looks basically just like that. After that's finished, we're going to go ahead and place down a, a zombie head on top of this uh, dark liquid corner stair at about a 45 degree angle and then one more zombie head that goes back like that along the side. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a stone button on the spruce wood plank and we also want to go and place down an air stone button over here on this spruce wood plank as well. We're going to place down a zombie head like this on top of this stair right here and there's a zombie head on top of this dark oak corner stair and one zombie head on top of this uh, uh, wooden trap door, all uh, looking just like that. After we have uh, that all finished, we're going to go ahead and basically skip a few spaces back. We're going to go ahead and go back um, to this spot right here. So this second row of three, a green stain clay. We're going to place down a uh, green stain clay block, followed by a dark oak wood uh, stair on both sides of the green stain clay block. Uh, we're also going to place down a zombie head coming off the sides here of these dark oak wood stairs, again on both sides. And for the gun itself, we're going to place down one and two spruce wood, or uh, sorry, nether brick uh, top steps coming off the green stain clay block with a end rod coming off the end and also an end rod coming off this dark oak wood stair over here on the left side. Like that to create the coaxial and main uh, machine guns. Uh, we also want to place down an end rod on top of this um, zombie head right here. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of green stain clay after the dark oak wood stairs and green stain clay full block where they're going to place down one more green stain clay block going back in the middle followed by a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides like that going ahead and continuing on we're going to place down a redstone comparator on top of this green stain clay block followed by a dark oak wood half slab after it and then on either side of this dark oak wood half slab we're going to place down green uh or sorry zombie heads like down on both sides to create a shape like that for the top of the turret and lastly, we just want to place down a stone butt on top of this narrow brick top slab like that. Continuing on to this back section here, uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head. We're going to place down a zombie head on top of this shulker box like that. We're also going to place down a stone butt on top of this spruce wood plank here in the middle. Continuing back, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, zombie heads. We're going to place down one and two on those two shulker boxes on the right side. And also one zombie head on this shulker box to the left side. 
We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some levers. We're going to place down two levers facing each other on these two spruce wood planks and two stone buttons right next to them like that. We're also going to place down an end rod over here on this green stankway block like so. We then want to grab ourselves stone brick half slabs and we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick half slabs on top of the second to last row of three of green stain clay all the way across like that. Once you guys have that all complete, that is going to do it for the BTR-60 um, armored personnel carrier. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This means anything from sign the build to link to my channel or this video if this doesn't bring any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It uh, helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these videos. So as long as you guys uh, give me credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Um, again, special thanks to Ferdinand Weininger for making this video possible. And um, make sure to check out my Patreon page if you guys are interested in supporting the channel. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.